Welcome to Midwest Sports Net. I'm Joey McWilliams, and I am pleased to be joined on the summit today by the head women's volleyball coach at William Carey, Coach Kelsey Weldon, in her seventh season with the program. Coach, the Crusaders are off to an 8-0 and start to this year, and that matches the best start in the NAI this season. It's a great way to start any season. Talk about what it means to you and, and how are things going? Um, well, for us, you know, it's been really exciting. We are in our seventh year um, just even having a program. We just started the program in 2016. And, um, you know, this, I mean, an eight no start is the best start that we've ever had. Um, but it's also been special because we really only have one true returning starter to our lineup this year. So we have a very young, very young roster this year, but they have done a really good job um, just in the team culture of gelling together and playing together and just being hungry for the season. And so um, we've played some matches that we should win and then we've played a lot of matches that on paper maybe we shouldn't win and they've just found a way to win every single time well i understand and there wasn't a lot of preseason love i imagine you're going to show up in in some form or fashion receiving some votes at least in the first regular season nai volleyball poll which should come out tomorrow we'll see how that all works out but needless to say i'd like you to follow up on on what you were talking about there not a lot of people returning when you come into this season, what kind of adjustments do you make and how, how do you prepare then going in following a, a pretty good season last year, 21 and 10 overall looking ahead? Did you think that there might be a possibility you could have a good start like this? Well, I mean, there's always the opportunity. We have a lot of talent in our young athletes, um, even within our own conference preseason um vote our team actually got voted fifth in the regular or in our conference play and a lot of that has to do with um, us really only having one all-conference player returning to the roster and so um you know it i i can't say that i'm surprised because i knew the talent was there but i've i've been really not well no surprise isn't the right word because the talent was there i've just been pleased with the fact that they've been able to put it together, you know, so quickly. We only had, like most other programs, about seven days together before we went into that first tournament in Kentucky. So um, I would say most coaches would agree, you don't really know what you're going to get in that first weekend. And um, that was where the pleasant surprise was that the girls just continued to, you know, chip away and do things. And um, we always say that the preseason is um, the time for us to be in as many different situations and get as many different opportunities um, to practice different situations to get ready for conference play. And we've been in just about every situation situation so far this season. Um, there have been times where we've been had huge leads on teams. There have been times we've been down by eight points or the other team gets eight points in a row. We've had season, or matches that we've, not matches, but sets that we've lost and had to respond. Um, we've had a five set match this year so far. And so um, just the opportunity to be in any situation to get us ready for conference play. And that will start here before very long. It'll come up in a in little bit more than a week. But I, we've talked about Rachel Hartman already on the Midwest Sportsnet channel a couple of times, and I would feel like I'm burying the lead if I, if I went too much farther without talking about her play. And specifically this weekend, Saturday, she had two triple doubles, 11 kills, 28 assists, 23 digs in that five-set match you talked about against Dillard. And then she needed only four sets to do it again, 11 kills, 21 digs, or 28 assists, 21 digs, Fantastic play from her to get this year started. Yeah, Rachel is a phenomenal player. Um, she came in, actually, we recruited her as a middle. Um, and last year, we found ourselves needing um, an additional DS. And she literally can do it all. So she ended up just DSing for us some last year. Um, this year, we kind of were in a position where we needed a setter. And she doesn't really have true setting experience. So as a former setter myself, that is a very hard thing to do in general. But especially at the collegiate level, to be able to step in and do what she's doing is pretty phenomenal. Um, but she is a player that um, she stays hungry. I mean, she is there for the team. She is definitely probably one of those players that's not looking for any recognition at all. And she just keeps showing up day after day. And she's been a very big asset to our program this year. Well, I'm, I'm sorry if she's not looking for the recognition. We've been giving it to her on this channel for, for sure. And uh, well deserved. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, she, she comes across as quite a versatile player. We're speaking with Kelsey Weldon, who is the head women's volleyball coach at William Carey, also the beach volleyball coach at William Carey as well. Coach, other players on the team, uh, Mia Haig has, has started things off well for you also. Uh, and, and outside, she's back-to-back -back now been named the uh, Sooner State's Attacker of the Week. 
62 kills last week in a 4 and 0 week, 4.1 kills per set, had 21 against Reinhard. Yeah, Mia is a big asset for us as well. She has pretty much she is a senior this year and she has started for us since her freshman year. So she's another player that we really rely on both her leadership and her play on the court. Um, I think she's currently leading in overall kills for the NAI right now. Um, and, and she's one that we just rely on often. Um, I mean, we can't do it without Mia and she's been just a really great asset as well. A couple more players I want to mention, Coach, and, and and talk about what these players meant. Also, Rachel Messer, you have uh, you were talking about Hartman coming in. It's a six-two look, and so she's not having to to bear all of the weight of that that assist. Messer on the other side of that, often a senior setter, uh, also helping out in that rotation. Cheyenne Moss is doing a good job from DS as well. Yeah, I mean, we have. Um... This is really Rachel Messer's first year in our lineup. Um, she's doing a really great job in that setting role. Um, Cheyenne redshirted last year from an injury, and so this is really her first time being in a big role. Casey Lear is another one. Her and Cheyenne have been um, switching off back there um, in the libero spot. Uh, both of them really hold us down defensively. JC Garriga was a setter on my roster last year, and she's in a DS role this year. Um, Reagan Huff, our other outside, um, she's, she was in our ones pair on the beach side, um, but she's another phenomenal athlete. And then in the middle, we've got, um, Elena Anderson, who's a junior this year, but this is her first time really in a starting role. And then, um, Abby Wright is a freshman who I recruited as a right side and moved to the middle. And so I've just been really impressed with the fact that, um, you know, our theme this year for work is, you know, you're not supposed to say this isn't my job. And I really feel like my team is emphasizing that just for the fact that I've got so many girls who either A, are the first time in a starting lineup or B, have accepted the role that I've just asked them to, to go into. And they've just done it so selflessly, just whatever the team needs, they're ready to step in that role. And I think that's probably been, as a coach, my favorite thing to see so far this season. So, Coach, let me let me make sure I get this straight. If you're recruiting someone, they need to be prepared to do something different than what they may have been doing before. Is that right? <laughs> Our program. That and right now, um, every one of my girls cross over to the beach season. So the good news is, is most of our team does have um, that experience being able to um, – being able to cross over and, and play in all these different positions. And um, we only have 14 on the roster. Actually, one person I forgot to mention is our one transfer this year, um, Avery Durden. She, she came in and um, she came in as a setter and I've recruited her more to play on the right side. And she's, she's been doing it all as well. So, I mean, it, it's just been really impressive to see the girls and in practice when we're scrimmaging, there's a lot of times that, I just need somebody to jump in. So it might be a middle jumping in a middle back or left back to play defense. Just about the only thing I'm not having them do right now is fill in a setting position, unless they're one of the girls that have set before, which again, Rachel Hartman hasn't really set before. And I have her setting in the actual lineup. So, well, coach, I, I know there's so much more of the season to, to be played and, and so many more matches ahead of you and still uh, a weekend before you get into conference play. Let's, let's talk about that. You head down to Florida and you're going to take on on Friday Johnson University from Florida and also Florida College in the Florida College Invitational so the host school there as well a couple more games on for, on Saturday and then Southern States league play begins Friday and Saturday September 9th and 10th you're on the road at Bruton Parker and then at Middle Georgia State yeah so this weekend I think Johnson might have dropped so we're actually going to be replacing that match with Warner this weekend and um, we've only ever actually faced Warner um in beach so this will be our first time facing them i think in the indoor season and and the the cool thing about this tournament is it, with the exception of florida college we've actually never played any of the other schools and and sometimes that's nice because i know that we're going to get high caliber volleyball without you know really knowing anything about them and sometimes that's important just to be able to react to the situation and to learn how to play regardless of who you're playing without having the film and everything else to get ready for the match um and then we open up on the road again, which, you know, we don't have control of the schedule. So that'll actually be our fourth weekend in a row um, on the road. And so we'll open up with uh, Bruton Parker and then Middle Georgia. And then the following week, we'll get to come home and um, have Talladega and Life. And Life finished the year really strong last year in a different conference. And so um, we're really excited to see how we match up with them. 
All right, conference play just right around the corner, but the Crusaders are 8 and 0 as the 22 campaign is beginning again. Uh, that matches the best start in the country for the NAI for this season and is the best start in program history for William Carey. Coach Kelsey Weldon, thank you so much for taking time with us today here on the summit. Success to you all, and we'll continue to follow you. Thank you so much for having me.